Hello everyone, Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast. As you know, the iPad today is quite ubiquitous. You can use it for just about anything, including using your iPad as a kiosk, which is what I'm going to focus on today. Now, right now, you can create a website, host it on a server somewhere. If it's formatted for an iPad, you can use that as a display. Just simply display the content in full screen mode on your iPad. However, what if you don't have an internet connection and you want to do the same thing? Well, there's a way to do that and I'm going to guide you through the steps. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is Kiosk Pro. It's an application that's $4.99 and it's made for the iPad. Essentially what this application enables you to do is upload your HTML content and the related assets through iTunes file sharing and you can display that content locally without using an internet connection. Okay, the next thing you want to do is set up your website content and you can use any website editor to do this. I prefer to use Hype by Tumult for this demo. As you can see here, I have five scenes set up using Hype and I'm going to link to each one when it's on the kiosk. So here's my home page. I'm going to link to another page that is an intro page where I'm just going to feature a photo of myself and a little short video. And I'm going to have a featured page where I'm going to feature an application. In this case, it's going to be Bazaar for the iPad. And I'm going to play a little video here. And then I'm going to proceed by then showing you some samples of Bazaar collages in the form of two galleries. So I'm going to link to all five of those pages in my kiosk. Now I'm already set up, so let me go ahead and export my project. And once those files have been exported, I'm then going to pull up that folder because we're going to have to edit those files. Okay, so this is what you get when you typically export your project out of Hype. I have an HTML page and I have a resources folder. When you're importing files into an application via iTunes file sharing, you're not allowed to import folders. So I have a problem here. I have to somehow get my HTML page and the assets inside that folder to be on the same level. So what I'm going to do is just modify the address in my main HTML page. So let me go ahead and open this page using Dreamweaver, which I have open right now. And I'm just going to get rid of the first part of that address, which distinguishes the index page from the resource folder. So you can see here at the bottom my source file that's being referenced. What I'm going to do is, is right before the forward slash mark I'm just going to get rid of that designation there and then put a period or dot in its place. That's going to enable me to put all the files on the same level. And now that I have all of my files following uh, the similar path, I can now take my HTML page and then just drop it right in that folder. We're now ready to import our files using iTunes file sharing. First, you want to connect your iPad to iTunes. And once you're connected, select your iPad and then select apps. With apps selected, you're going to scroll down to the bottom until you see file sharing. You're then going to locate your application in that column, in this case, Kiosk Pro. On the right hand side, you see now Kiosk Pro Documents. That's where we're going to import our HTML files. At the bottom, you're going to see a button that says Add. You're going to click on that and then import all of those files into iTunes File Sharing. Once you have imported your files into iTunes, they will look something like this. You'll see your HTML files and or any JavaScript files or JPEGs, etc. included with your project will all be in that one location. None of them will be stored in a folder. As I mentioned before, iTunes will not allow you to import a folder as a separate file. And just so you're not confused, the folder that you see here at the top is not a folder that I imported into Kiosk Pro via iTunes file sharing. That's a folder that comes 
with the application pre-installed. Okay, we have created our project. We imported all the files into iTunes file sharing after making that slight adjustment to the HTML page. We're now going to go ahead and examine how this looks inside the app itself. So let me go ahead and open up the iPad. And with Kiosk Pro, you can actually access the settings two ways. You can go into the settings tab to access them, or you can just simply open the application. And that's what I'm going to do here. Now at the top left, you see a button that says Run Kiosk Presentation. That's what we're going to click on to launch our project. But before we do that, we're going to make sure everything is set up correctly. And I'm going to scroll down. I'm looking for a home page. And at the home page area is where the first page is designated. So essentially, it's your home page or your index page to your website. Normally, you would enter this address if the website was stored online. But it also applies to your files locally as well. So in this case, my HTML page is kiosk.html. So I'm fine there. I just want to show you a few other things. There's also the option to turn the address bar on or off up top. Since you're going to be in kiosk mode, you probably don't want to do that. Another option is to show a bottom navigation bar. This bottom navigation bar enables you to have some buttons on the bottom pre-installed, which Kiosk Pro provides. Again, not really needed if you're already setting up a website with buttons. So I'm going to turn that off. And there's one more thing I want to scroll down and show you. If you happen to use the bottom navigation bar, you're going to click on the custom navigation links area. And this is where you can go in and then customize your labels and then set up the HTML page that you want each label to link to. So that's just another layer of customization that comes with it. Well, since I showed you that, let me go back up here and just show bottom navigation bar just so you can see how those buttons appear. So I think we're set. Let me go ahead and click Run Kiosk Presentation. And as you can see, my project now appears the way I set it up using hype. Right now I only have one button because I only have one HTML page that I'm linking to. And that's what the bottom navigation bar looks like. Obviously I don't really need it. I just wanted you to see it in case you wanted to use it for yourself. So I'm actually going to go back into the settings tab and remove the option to have the navigation bar. Because like I said I don't really need it. I'm going to go ahead and click Run Kiosk again. And now here's my full project with the links at the bottom. Let's see if everything's working. This is the home page. I'm going to go ahead and click Intro. And here I have a video playing. I'm going to now click Feature. And there's another video where I'm highlighting an application. And I'm going to go to Gallery. And here's the Gallery page that I set up. And then I have a second gallery, so I'm going to go to that. And that's pretty much what I set up for this demo. And as you can see, it's launched full screen. The only problem that we have, they can still escape out of it if they click the home button. But Apple has provided a remedy for that too. Let's take a look. Now we have everything all set up using Kiosk Pro. Now we need to go into the settings tab. And you're going to go to general. You're then going to scroll down to accessibility. And then you're going to look for guided access. You want to turn that on. And if you're using this for public display, you want to set a passcode to prevent people from escaping out of kiosk mode. Then you're going to go back to your application. So I'm ready to install this in the gallery. And I just have some final steps that I have to do. I'm going to go to, in this case, Kiosk Pro. And I'm going to run the Kiosk presentation. Okay, I now have it launched full screen on my iPad. And I need to disable the home button. So I'm going to triple click on the home button. 
and you'll notice that your project becomes recessed with various different controls for how you want to set up your project. I don't really need to hide anything. So all I need to do is just click start. And you can see guided access has started. Now when I try to click on the home button, I just get a message. Guided access is enabled. Triple click to exit. So if you have a visitor or user who is tempted by that and they triple click on the home button, they're prompted to enter a passcode. Most people won't bother going through all that, so it's safe to say your presentation is secure. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Myable Podcast. This is Tim Brown. Check me out at myablepodcast.com. And also check out my YouTube page at youtube.com slash myapplepodcast. See you later.